Hey friends, welcome back to the kitchen. I am Rachel and you are at that 1870s homestead and I love making all the things with zucchini. I have a whole playlist if you're interested on what to do with all the zucchini sitting on your kitchen counter. I currently have four or five over there and I they're just coming in by the handfuls, uh, you know, or the arm loads every day now. So I have graded up two cups. That's the standard measurement, isn't it? <laughs> two cups of grated zucchini. And I'm gonna bring you, blow your mind, a whole new thing for this year's zucchini playlist. We are making mock crab cakes. Crab cakes are a true favorite of mine. And if these really taste as good as some of the reviews sound like they do, um, I know what I'm gonna be doing with a lot of my zucchini going forward. So I got a lot of the ingredients prepped. We're gonna head over to the stove, get some cooking going, and I can't wait to see how these taste. So stick around though. In this video, I'm also gonna be sharing with you a fish cake recipe because we're gonna do, be doing some comparison with some yummy walleye cakes and zucchini cakes cooked with the same ingredients pretty much the same way and uh, do some like good comparison. All right, so let's get going. Okay, first I'm gonna cook up just a little bit of Holy Trinity, about two tablespoons of oil. And we are going to add, um, I don't know what you'd call that, a half cup of chopped celery, a little bit of less than that of chopped, I had yellow pepper. You could use red pepper, green pepper, Um, about a third, half a cup to a three quarters of a cup chopped onion. I'm gonna cook this. And once it gets good and sauteed, we will add some garlic, salt, and cayenne. All right, that, uh, those veggies are well sauteed down. So I'm just uh, mincing in two whole heads of garlic. I'm just gonna cook that for like just 30 seconds or so. It's gonna get nice and fragrant and I don't wanna burn the garlic at all. And that's it. And then we need to add our cayenne. We made our own cayenne powder last year. That was a lot of fun. Not much, just a little bit. Okay, and some salt. Alrighty, now let's go over and let's mix up those mock crab cakes. I'm just gonna leave the veggies off to the side while I mix this up. So I have my two cups of drained zucchini. We're gonna add an egg. I think it's just one egg, yep. I'll leave the link to the recipe I'm following down below. I have about two tablespoons of chopped green onion. How much Dijon? A teaspoon it says. And uh, one to two tablespoons of mayonnaise. I'm gonna add lemon juice. It doesn't call for it, but lemon juice just makes everything better. It's probably a teaspoon. And then the Old Bay seasoning, a tablespoon of Old Bay. It's really like two, but better to have more than not enough. Okay. And then a cup of panko breadcrumbs. All right, we're gonna mix all that together. And 
then supposedly you just form these in patties. I was researching a lot of different recipes and um, like some people will do a secondary like egg wash. So dip the patties in flour and then um, the egg wash and then a panko flour topping. Um, I think we'll see how they hold together. I'm just going to add half of this because half of it I'm saving for the, the actual fish cakes. Okay, so I'm going to get these patties formed up and then we will get going on the fish cakes themselves. Take my rings off. Oh, one thing I didn't mention is the um, the oh yeah, they hold up really nice and well. Zucchini, I grated that zucchini probably two hours before I started, and I um, drained it really well, like squeezed all the juice out that I could get. So you'll probably want to do that. Um, so. It's not too wet. Okay, that is how they turned out. It ended up making, they're quite small. So I'd imagine you can, you know, it's probably three and a half, four wing fingers in diameter. Um, I'm sure that you could, uh, you know, double this recipe plenty to feed a larger crowd, but it's just Todd and I, and as it is, we're gonna have lots of leftovers. So now I just have, I don't even know, can't remember how we bagged this up. This is walleye that we caught and I'm just chunking it up into small bits. And um, some recipes will tell you you need to cook it first. I'm not, I'm just, you know, fairly small little pieces. I'll show you once I get it cut up. So little small pieces. If you've never had walleye, it's really, really a wonderful fish. Um, so many people say the word, like it doesn't taste like fish. <laughs> and, uh, but that's true of this as well. It's not a fishy fish, not very fatty, a very lean fish. Um, and it's just a Great Lakes staple, that perch. Um, just excellent eating. I think this is gonna be exactly two cups, just like the two cups of zucchini was. So I think the recipe is gonna be very um, compatible. So I have my oven set to, um, I'm gonna, don't freak out. I know this is raw fish and I'm putting this in the mayonnaise, but I'm using it all. So I can wash my jar. Um, the oven is preheating to 375. Alrighty, the rest of our green onions. And these green onions actually came from the freezer. Um, if you're interested, I topped my onions out in the garden last year and I just chopped all these green onions up and threw them in the freezer. Didn't do anything else to them. That's it. Um, and we use them all the time. So, this is the last of our Holy Trinity. And if you don't know what Holy Trinity is, it's onion, celery, bell pepper, and um, garlic once you cook down the initial. And that makes a, a good base for so many dishes in the South. Okay. I don't think I added my mustard. I need to add that. And then our Old Bay. What was that, two or three tablespoons? Recipe calls for one, but I'm gonna do a big scoop. And a teaspoon of lemon juice. All righty. Oh, the egg. That would have been bad. Add the egg. 
Okay. The exciting thing is other than the Old Bay, the oil that I sauteed the veggies in, and of course we can't grow lemons in Michigan, and the pink oak breadcrumbs. If I wasn't, if I did it all, I'd have my own breadcrumbs too. But all of this is from the garden, from here. Um, you know, our Michigan, we, we caught and processed and preserved the fish. Um, all the veggies are straight from the garden fresh, except for the green onions last year's. So it's just always so pleasing to me when I can cook a meal that is like, I could live this life. <laughs> I could, uh, I figured it out and I could survive um, if I had to, right? And uh, not just survive, but thrive. All right, so we're gonna do these the same way and make little patties. And I'm just grabbing it by the handful and smashing it together till those breadcrumbs really combine. Nice, cute little fish cake. All right, I will see you guys back after I put these in the oven. Um, I think I'm gonna bake them probably seven minutes, flip them and another seven minutes and we'll see where we're at. I think it said 15 minutes for the fish cakes. And as long as I cook the fish cakes long enough, the zucchini cakes will be fine. So I'm going to um, bring you guys back and we will start making those sauces. Okay, so I need to whip up a real quick, um, another batch of mayonnaise. And if you guys haven't seen my mayonnaise video, I'll link it in the description below if you wanna watch just that for future reference. So it's a couple oil, one egg. Um, I kinda just do like a cap, and a little bit more of lemon juice. And that's the base. You really don't need anything else than that. I typically will add my Amish coleslaw mix that I get from the Amish store to it for like a, a Miracle Whip flavor. Um, mayonnaise, or you could add Dijon mustard to it. That's the way I used to always make it. But for, since I'm making, using this for a base for sauces, this is, I'm just gonna stick with the basics. And you could add salt too. So we're gonna just put our immersion blender in and it really takes 30, 45 seconds. <laughs> Kind of like when I know what it, what it sounds like when it's done. Um, you'll learn uh, if you start making it at home and um, it just kind of gets a thicker, duller sound when it's done. Uh, I guess the tip to it, my son tried to make it for me one time when I was like hands on cooking. I was like, can you just whip up some mayonnaise? And I thought I explained the process well enough, but you don't want to break that emulsion. So keep that blender um, down in there uh, the whole time. Don't stop it or the molecules can break apart and stop that emulsion process. And then you'll just end up with oily separated egg yolks. So I'm not gonna bang this like I normally do. I normally bang it out, but I won't. Okay, for mock tartar sauce, I'm pretty sure I've shared this before but it goes with today's recipe. So I'm just gonna take a dollop of mayonnaise, a good dollop, I'm gonna make enough so Todd and I can share. And zucchini relish. But I drain it off as good as I can off the side of the jar. And then I'll add a couple spoons of zucchini relish to it, some salt, some pepper, and that's it. <laughs> and it's a good, a good um, fake out tartar sauce. A 
look, when I show it to you, you're gonna think it's tartar sauce. It looks just like it. <laughs> I don't know that it necessarily tastes exactly the same, but it's close enough that it'll fool anyone. All right, what else am I making? Oh, the uh, remoulade. So again, not exactly, you know, remoulade, I think calls for capers. Um, I'm not gonna do all that. We don't even like capers. So I'm getting my mayonnaise. We are gonna add some Dijon. Now I would have, could have just mixed this right in with the mayonnaise, um, but I was making the tartar sauce too. Probably one part to two parts and a good, good yummy dose of sriracha. All right, let me do salt. Just a little bit of pepper just because it's already got that sriracha in there. I feel like it needs something. Do just maybe a little cayenne too. Look at me, I dropped some on the counter. Oh, that did it. And now we have some remoulade sauce. So I think it's about time that I flip those cakes. So let's come down here and do that together. We have to sit like with it. We have a bench and it has to sit cockeyed because he's got to be far away and I got to be close. My knees don't fit otherwise. <laughs> yeah. It looks good, baby. Thanks. I'm excited. We just are serving it right off the cookie sheet. It's just him and I. But of course, you could fancy this up with some parsley and a pretty platter. Some fake crab legs. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we just have some turkey purple and I have no idea what this big mama daddy I guess it's a beef steak I know I did grow a couple beef steaks um, and I made a uh, tartar sauce and remoulade sauce thanks you might want to check I was mowing on like the back side of the fence of the garden mm -hmm. those tomatoes that were growing outside yeah some of them look like they might need to be checked oh okay so, I didn't get his forks. <laughs> I've been mowing grass today. Oh no, our battery's almost dead, Rachel. Is it? Yeah. All right. We'll be right back. Hold on one second. Better? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> our dinner. So I was saying I've been mowing grass since, uh, I think two hours? Yeah, a long time. I'm not done yet. But I got hungry, and my timing was good. Wait, and somehow or another, if you'll notice, mm. my yellow glasses I've been wearing for like the last six months are out in the yard somewhere. Oh, well, I'm sure that um, he buys them in bulk. I'm sure there's another package. Yeah. Somewhere. No, I have some. I have more. Oh, okay. I have red ones. Now we match. Okay. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna try my tartar sauce with my fish cake, actual fish cake, and the remoulade on the crab. What say you? Did you try anything yet? 
Okay, I'm going in for the first bite. Fish cake. Absolutely delicious. Of course, it would hands down be better fried in oil, but we went the healthy route today. Zucchini. I'm gonna close my eyes for this one and see if I can pretend it's actual crab cake. You could. If you closed your eyes, you could think that you were eating crab cake. Really? Yep, close your eyes. Especially with the remoulade sauce. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. There's just a ton of Old Bay in it and... It'd be like, um, like you're eating a crab cake, but they cut up the meat super, super, super small, yeah. so you don't really notice it like when you're shredded, trying. Like shredded crab? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Mmm. Mmm. I tried it without sauce because I wanted... I made them both the exact same way, so it would be a good comparison. Mm. Like, exact same way. Other than one's fish and one's zucchini. Okay, it's a definite recommend for me. Um, you know, you might want to cut back on adding the cayenne to your... Um, oh, that eye is on. I do this all the time, and you guys have caught me sometimes. Um, you might want to cut back on the cayenne if you're sensitive to you know, spicy foods, it, it's a little, got a little tiny kick to it. A little bit, but it's good. It's mm -hmm. not like, not like I can't eat it, but mm -hmm. it's spicy enough that. It's good. <laughs> it's good. All right, that was fun. So there you go, another, who would have thought it, <laughs> zucchini <laughs> recipe. Another thing for the zucchini playlist. Mm -hmm. Good job, tastes really good. Yeah, man, was, that's crazy. I'm not even, I really, I'm not kidding. It actually, you close your eyes and you could think that you were eating a crab cake. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> God, did you try this one? Do you, do you understand now why it's my favorite? Yeah, I only took yeah. one piece of that one. Oh. But I know it was your favorite. Mm -hmm. I was saving it all for you. But I did try one piece, it's very good. Just delicious, really rich. Mm -hmm. Good dinner, thank mm -hmm. you.